I'm going to quickly show you how to create a 3D road to match an imported layout. First, we need to import a new layout, and we do that by going to the File, Import, and in this case, DXF DWG. So we're going to browse and find the file we want to import, select it, and click Open. That is now showing me the imported layout on top of my survey. So next, we want to create a new centerline. So we go to our centerline tools, new centerline, and this time we're going to turn on the snap to vertices. And as I move my mouse around, you can now see the square box of where it is going to be snapping to. So we move the mouse to the indicated start of the centerline and left click to select it. We're going to change to the snap to arc, snap mode. And now, when I'm moving the mouse around, it is now highlighting the closest arc to the mouse. So we hover over the first um, curve along the indicated centerline path and left click to select it. And then we sequentially go along and find the next one and do the same. So when I left click this one and select it, the previous curve now fills in, whereas this one hasn't finished off yet. So we go towards the end of the road and we need to now change back to snap to vertices and left click that one and left click over the end of the center line. To finish the center line, we right click and hit finish. To upgrade this center line to a road, we're going to go to the channels, curbs and footways toolbar and select the center line that we want to upgrade. To detect and find out what channel width we need, we're going to use the pick button and we still have the snap to vertices on. So we're going to select a, the uh, appropriate point on the channel and left click to accept it. It'll now show you the uh, appropriate values coming back in where we can then edit them if we want to and click OK to accept. And that's it. We now have a new road with two curves that matches the channel layout, which can be seen in both the plan and the 3D view. Thank you.